going to talk about nightmares and dreams. And, uh, you know, who's going to tell you about these things, right? Nobody's teaching you what, what these things are and nobody has real answers. But, you know, like people who serve God and who knows who has these kind of revelations can tell you. So I'm going to tell you the world, you know, whoever wants to listen to it, whoever is having these nightmares and dreams, you know, being, you know, chased, being raped, being, you know, molested in the dreams, having homosexual bad dreams, you know, being killed in the dreams, you know, being, you know, or, or seeing your people being killed or whatever. You know, let me tell you about the dreams. You know, there are three sources, three, three sources about your dreams. First one is from God. You know, it's either a warning from God to you, you know, to, to save you, to, to warn you that you're, you know, not living rightly, you know, and, and righteously in, in God's will. Second thing is to, uh, it's by demons. You know, demons and devil, you know, pretty much witches and warlocks, whatever, whoever puts putting curse on you, you know, they're giving you the bad dreams, especially the nightmares, especially you being kidnapped, raped, whatever, you know, uh, chased by whatever monsters, everything like, kind of like all those kinds, you know. And those things are from demonic source, you know, and they are really, you know, coming to you on your body, you know, when you're sleeping, you know, they're really doing that kind of stuff on you while you're sleeping. You know, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just telling, trying to tell it to the truth, right? So just listen, if you have ears to hear, as Jesus said, if you have ears to hear, hear, you know, hear the word of God. And the other part of you being, you having dreams is, because you, you're so infatuated with that kind of stuff or something that you've seen in the day or that you've been thinking in your day, you know, that comes into your dream. Okay, so three sources, either from you or God or, you know, devil. Okay, so basically three things. And spiritual spiritual realm is mostly in the dream too, you know. And uh, if, you're, if you're having prophetic dreams by God, then you should try to, you know, pray and meet God instead of just have the dreams, you know. You know, so, you know, um, God said in, I think, Numbers, uh, I'm, I'm, I forgot where, but anyway, so God says in Numbers, like, you know, I come to Moses face to face and not in, not just in dreams, but to other people, God comes to them in dreams because God still wants to have contact with you and God wants you to love God. So, uh, basically that's why he comes, you know, to warn you and to, you know, to keep you back in track if you're lost, spiritually, physically, financially, whatever, however, you know, if you're, if you're lost. I'm trying to speak fast because, you know, I've got 10 minutes. Uh, <clears throat> so whatever, what I was going to talk. Yeah, in, in spiritual darkness and physical darkness is same. You know, what, what's dark in spiritual realm and what's dark in physical realm are almost same. Like if, you, if you're living in like a dark environment where like all cloudy, like, Sky's all just cloudy every day. You know, the, the there's not much light in the room. You know, your room is messy, dirty, filthy, whatever. You know, then most likely spiritually, it's also in the darkness. And then when, once you're living in that kind of lifestyle, you know, what's going to happen is demons are going to come. Demons are going to come and, you know, they're going to give you bad dreams. Or if you're even living like a sinful life physically, then in spirituality, also, there are demons, you know, that that's just coming coming to you, you know, giving you those sinful thoughts and, you know, making you sin pretty much, you know. So if you're not living right, you know, you know for sure, you know, if you're lying, cheating, whatever, doing all these adulterous things, you know, sleeping with your boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, you know demons are already there. They're already there, no matter, no questions asked. So you have to first repent of your sins and ask Jesus to deliver you and heal you from these uh, nightmares and dreams and whatever spiritual you know darkness <clears throat> let me give you an analogy you know um like an apple like that you ate before what if what, what if what happens to an apple like that you left in the room you know what's going to happen to it or the ban banana peel or whatever you know that that you left in the room what, what is that gonna like produce fruit flies are gonna appear out of nowhere fruit flies yeah they're gonna appear out of nowhere and they're gonna be you know hanging around in your room you know and then you had your doors closed and everything, but you don't know where the fruit flies came from. Well, and same thing, spiritual, spiritually too, you know? If you kept yourself in sin, and if you have, like, you know, um, brought, like, demonic things like horror movies or, you know, bad games or, you know, like, have, have like, 
uh, hard rock music, hard rap music, you know, hate music, whatever, you know, that you have in your room, you know, blasting all day long. What do you think is going to come, huh? Those kind of demons are going to come into your room. Or sexually, you know, you're, 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 wa you're watching pornography on the inter internet, you know, and, you know, your, your, your computer is being pretty, much, being pretty much tainted. And also your soul, not your spirit, your soul is also being tainted. So uh, these things, you got to be cleaned up if you don't want to have these kind of dreams anymore, you know, or you, you don't want to be haunted, you know, in, the, in the, the, kind of, the kind of place, you know, if you hang around with kids, you know, with for fun, you know, in the cemeteries and stuff, you know, what do you think is going to be attached to you, huh? Demons are going to be attached and you can't freaking run away from them. You can't. You know, those are, those things are spiritual. They, they, they can, you know, enter in, enter out. They're, they're, they're spiritual things. They can just, you know, uh, go into the wall and come out of the wall and, you know, they're not bound by physical things. But they do like, you know, darkness in the physical things, you know. Uh, I'll give you another analogy. Uh, if you have a water that's, that's just sitting down for years, you know, what's going to happen to the water? What do you think? It's going to start rot, even if it's water. If it's not being moved and it's just lazily sitting down, for a long period of time, it's gonna start rot. You know, it's, it's gonna it's gonna start rot, and and same thing in the physical as in the natural. You know, same thing as in the spiritual. If you if you're lazy, if you're not moving, you know, if you're not praying, you know, if you're not feeding your mind and you know your soul with the with the word of God, then what's gonna happen is you know it's gonna start rot. And what what these rotting means is like demons can come and just just possess you when you know, uh, without you even knowing, and they're, they're not going to leave unless you fast and pray, you know, when unless you have earnestly prayed for help to God, and when you've uh, fasted, you know, these things cannot go out by either by fasting or praying, you know, basically a combination is really good, so if you're living messily, you know, clean up your room, you know, organize, be diligent, you know, lazy mind, you know, is a, is, is devil's, devil's den you know they, they play around it's their, it's their playground lazy mind and lazy uh laziness and what kind of spiritually everything you know everything whatever is rotting in your home you know clean that up wash your dishes you know it's it's, it's not to, not good to have those things and if you're if you are suffering from uh, nightmares you should pray to the father to please deliver you from these dreams because these things are real when you're being raped you know in the dream you're really being raped you know in spiritual realm you know, those, I don't know, like, the demonic stuff, you know, but, you know, they, they do come in spirit. Some some people do astral projections. They they leave their body and then go attack, you know, go, I don't know, rape their, you know, rape Christian girls in their dreams and whatever, or whatever, normal people, you know, they just come by and then, you know, you, you can't see them because they're in the spirit, you know, and and you'll be, like, just attacked without, without them knowing because your spiritual eyes are closed at the moment. And when you do fast and pray, you know, make sure you don't have any worldly entertainment because, you know, those spiritual realm is being opened up to you and you don't want to feed your spirit with the wrong kind, right? So uh, please keep that in mind. And if you want to know how to fast and pray, you know, watch my other videos on how to fast properly, Christians. And there's that video I made a long time ago. And then what else you could, you could do is use the name of Jesus when they come, you know, in the name of Jesus, I bind you by the power of the blood of Jesus and by the Holy Spirit, you cast them out, you know, you cast them out and they, they have to flee because, you know, the power of the name of Jesus has already defeated them on the cross. And uh, Jesus says um, in Matthew 10, 20, I don't know, 10, I think 30, 34, he said, Do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace. But a sword, you know, he, he, he wants you to fight them. You know, he gave you the sword of the Holy Spirit, you know, so you have to ask the Holy Spirit to fill you with the Holy Spirit and to give you the sword of the Holy Spirit when you, when you, and then you have to cut them down, like, you know, cut them down, even in physical, you know, in the name of Jesus, cast them out, you know, I, I, I bind those dirty demonic spirits and principalities in the air, you know, and I cast them to hell, you know, I, I, I did it all the time, you know, be, before I pray, because I feel the darkness, you know, already clogging up and for those who are not really spiritual you know and uh, enlightened yet you know you, you just do it with faith you just do it with faith and god bless everybody who watches this in the name of jesus please protect them amen